Hey peeps, I wanted to talk a little bit about trauma bonds and what it is like for you dating after trauma bonds. Um, I have mentioned before in the past that I was in a relationship very long term that was a trauma bond and um, it was somewhat humbling, maybe a little shameful at the beginning that I had engaged in a trauma bond. I'm a therapist, I know a lot of stuff and yet I still got caught in this. So one of the parts of a trauma bond is that there is a lot of gaslighting. There's a lot of somebody telling you what your life, your experience is, <clears throat> excuse me, and it can be very confusing. So let's say you're in another relationship, like I am now, and that person says or does something that um, reminds me of what's happened to me in the past. So, what happens is it's a trigger, right? And the trigger does what? It begins a whole process in our body that takes us out of the moment. So the signs that I know I've been triggered are, I get really racy thoughts, my body starts to either tighten in because I'm freezing, or to get big because I'm fighting or uh, running, flight. <laughs> And I actually get really, I can actually hear the thoughts in my head and they sound like a very small child. Somebody who's angry and wants to fight back with somebody. Um, I tend to cry a lot. <laughs> um, and what I really need to do, what most of us need to do, is to get safe and calm our bodies down. And that has to happen really before you can have a conversation with this partner or girlfriend. So when I know that I've been triggered, my first step is to tell the person that I'm dealing with that I need a few minutes and I need some space. I usually go somewhere private and then I will take some time to breathe. You know, deep breath in. And I will do that several times. Once I feel my body start to calm down, next I need to look at my thoughts. Is this really about what's going on right now? Is this sense in my body particularly tied to something else that's gone in the past? And can I see that I don't need to have that reaction? So this is not the person that I struggled with before. And I have to remember that I am going to have triggers and they are not associated with this current girlfriend, partner. They are associated with the trauma bond I was in prior. And this is when we get to see just how much work there is in recovery from trauma bonds. So if you've had experiences like this, I want you to know you're not alone. Even therapists struggle with their shit. And I also want you to know that there's hope. I did a lot of work around why I stayed in a relationship that was so painful and toxic for me, not just for the person and what was going on, the other person and what was going on, but for myself, my behavior wasn't okay either. So I had to take a look at that first. But I just want you to know this work is so worth it. I'm now in a relationship where I'm seen for who I am. I'm not expected to people please or take care of anybody else but me. And I have someone who appreciates me exactly as I am. So if you're somebody who's been through an experience like this, please hold on to that hope that you have. It will get better.